Have you been planning to venture into this nail rearing business on a small scale or you simply can't because you don't own a land to erect permanent structures on? Don't worry, that's why in this video I'll be reviewing this nail cage. So if you are new to the channel, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to stay notified once I release quality videos on the channel without wasting much of our time. Let's go! For the sake of durability, the cage is simply constructed using the galvanized rod which won't rust or corrode easily, followed by the hardwood. The hardwood is majorly used for the base and for the top. The sand is meant to be filled to the level of the hardwood inside the cage, whereby you reinforce the inside with mosquito net to prevent insects from entering, followed by another layer of galvanized mesh. The metal mesh is to prevent predators from entering into the cage like lizard, rats and the likes. With all the sides of the cage covered in net and galvanized mesh, you are assured cross ventilation which makes the room as cool as possible and also remember to put the space between the layers of the cage. This helps to put moisture in check whereby you won't have over um, saturation of water into the grains of the wood and this will help um, lengthen the lifespan of the cage. Also make sure the door is as wide as possible for easy accessibility of the cage and depending on the height of the person that's what determines the height or the numbers of steps or tires or that the cage will take and also the dimension doesn't really matter what matter is observing the optimum stocking density so if you are looking forward to starting an intensive system on a small scale or you are looking for something temporal that you can move to a permanent site in the future the cage is a very good model for you to use remember to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to stay notified once i release quality videos on the channel till next time a peace